Hey, what's up? I recently upgraded to the Logitech MX Master. While the MS Master is not the newest mouse, it was within my budget for a productivity-focused mouse that would also be an upgrade over my Logitech M720. So in today's video, I'll be going over my experience with using the Logitech MX Master in 2022. Let's get started. Coming from the M720, the MX Master feels larger and has a heavier weight that adds to the premium feel. This mouse is designed to curve and feel natural to hold in your hand. The right and left click button which has a nice feedback to it when you click on it, and the scroll wheel has two modes for scrolling, free spinning and ratchet. And to the left side is a wing shape for resting your thumb. The wing also functions as a button but is not that easy to press on. Located on top of the wing is a side scroll wheel which has an effortless design that's easy to use. And next to the wheel is two awkwardly placed side buttons. By default these buttons are shortcut for forward and back. Jumping to the front of the mouse is the micro USB port for charging your mouse. Which is outdated by today's standard but can easily be overlooked for the price. Powering the MX Master is the built in battery which has a capacity of 500 milliamp and will last up to a month before needing to be recharged. Flipping over the mouse is the power button and an easy switch button which will support up to three pairing device. The MX Master also supports both Bluetooth and a USB dongle connection. What makes this a great productivity mouse is the number of customization available. You can configure almost every button from adding a shortcut like gesture to perform an action like adjusting brightness or even a shortcut to an app or map a set of function for an app. One of the most useful productivity feature on this mouse is Smart Shift, which allows you to quickly scroll through many pages. Another useful productivity feature is the side scroll wheel, which can be set to a shortcut for brightness, or in my case I've set it to be horizontal scroll through my timeline within DaVinci Resolve. Using the Logitech MS Master has been an improvement over my M720, but it does have its deficiency like the side button placement is not that great, the thumb button is difficult to press, you need to flip the mouse over to access the easy switch button, micro USB port, newer version of the MS Master is available, but I also have many positive like rechargeable battery, long battery life, ergonomic design, large area to rest your thumb, two scroll wheel, Logitech unified dongle support, smart shift for faster scrolling, and affordable pricing. These are what makes the MS Master a good recommendation for those looking for a productivity mouse on a budget and don't mind sacrificing newer future. That concludes the video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. See you next time!